assalamu alaikum sir walaikum salam what comes first religion or country non muslims always ask this question especially hindus but adil rashid they said that how to reply to a question when non muslim poses especially hindu that what comes first religion or country and several years ago this question was posed to me by a hindu after my public lecture and he asked me the dr zakir according to you which is first religion or country i got up and i said and i asked him that according to you can you tell me who comes first are you first the son of your father or are you first the son of your mother and the questioner smiled and he got the reply this is a witty reply mainly mainly when people try and trap you that which comes first your religion or your country and then your trap will you allege to your religion or will you allege to your country and which i want say you give you will get trap so i asked him a counter question do you are you the son first of your father or son of your mother this is how to reply when someone tries to trap you but let's come to the basic question which is which comes first is it religion or is it your country let me give you an analogy or an example that if you're working in a company and you are an assistant manager your immediate boss is your manager then your boss's boss is the general manager and finally on top is the owner of your company i am asking you a simple question that if the instruction of your manager contradicts with the instruction of the general manager or contradicts with the instruction of the boss of the company who will you follow but naturally the best would be that you follow the instruction of both your manager general manager as well as your boss of the company but if it contradicts who will you follow the manager the general manager or the owner of the company and the correct answer is the owner of the company because the owner of the company he is your boss's boss's boss he is owner he may not have time to interact with everyone so he gives the instruction the general manager general manager gives to the manager manager gives to you suppose the main owner of the company says you should not cheat but your immediate boss manager says no problem cheat you no know, take bribing who will you follow but natural who is the head similarly what you understand that allah subhanahu wa taala almighty god is the creator of all the human beings and he is the sustainer and cherisher best is where it comes to country and religion best is to follow both but if there is a conflict between the teachings or the instruction or the rules and regulation of the country and of your religion if it contradicts with the saying of allah and his rasul but natural there is no question for a muslim allah and his rasul is one, first number one following the commandments of allah and the messenger prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is much more important than following the rules and regulation of the country best is to follow both but if they contradict because allah subhanahu wa taala is not only the creator of you but creator <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not only your creator he is the creator of your country he is the creator of your continent he is the creator of the full world he is the ultimate boss no one is above him so maybe the constitution of your country or maybe the prime minister of your country may say something but Allah is the creator of the prime minister and the president of your country also so if the instruction contradict best is to follow both if the instruction contradict then as a muslim the commandment of allah and his rasul take precedence over the rule and regulation and law of the country and alhamdulillah as far as india is concerned india is one of the few countries in the world where it is permitted for every citizen of india to preach practice and follow his religion 
and i don't know of any rule in the constitution of india which which makes it compulsory for a muslim who is living in india to do something which is haram there is no rule or no regulation in the constitution of india which forces a muslim to do something haram like no where does it say that you should have alcohol no where does it say that you should do shirk no and neither is there any rule or regulation in the country which islam says it is fard and the country says don't do it for example islam says pray five times a day no where, no where does the rule of the country say that you say that you cannot pray islam says you should fast no where does the rule of indian constitution say that you cannot fast so there is no rule in the indian constitution which forces you to do something which is haram and there is no rule in the indian constitution which prevents you to do something which is fard there may be other things which are mubah etc which may be problematic so as far as the indian constitution is concerned it doesn't contradict with islamic teachings it makes it difficult for you to live in fact the indian constitution has a separate islamic personal law a muslim personal law where it gives it to follow the rules and regulation as far as the person thing is concerned regarding marriage regarding divorce regarding inheritance it gives you permission so where there is a conflict between allah and his rasul and the country but not allah and his rasul your deen takes precedence over your country hope that answers the question